Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending June 17th, 2017. I was originally going to talk about some articles about Mars exploration, but I will save them for next week. What happened this week was uh, something that I think would really apply to the TDD Report in Science and Technology. One of our destroyer ships, the USS Fitzgerald, actually crashed into or was crashed into by a container ship. So um, a lot of people in the articles were asking, with all the technology we have, which obviously we have some of the best technology in the world, why in the heck did this happen? And since I don't have that kind of experience um, in the Navy, I've never been in the Navy myself, but I have a friend that actually was recently enough in the Navy that he's aware of all the technology the modern ships have for collision avoidance. And I wanted to get kind of his opinion in general, not necessarily that he can really discern with this information exactly what happened on the USS Fitzgerald, but what it is about um, collisions and what's the technology versus what the humans can do, and uh, give his judgment call as to what he thinks. He also, I believe, was in an incident on a ship too where a ship actually did collide. So um, I'll let him explain it. This is my friend uh, known as Navy Thomas 8. Take it away, Tom. I want to say hi to all the TDD uh, viewers. I got to try and keep this under five minutes. So the question has been posed to me by many, many people, my opinion of what happened with the USS Fitzgerald and how it got run over by a reindeer. Okay. First off, I'm going to tell you straight up, this was pure human error on the U.S. Navy's part. And I hate to say that, but having experienced a collision at sea myself, that's how it works out. The law of gross tonnage applies. Um, he who is bigger than you, you get the fuck out of their way. Obviously, that didn't happen. Okay, the next question was about radar. There's a lot of times Navy ships operate without using their radar. However, we have um, emissions that we can monitor. And we can hear the other ship's radar, which in this case would have been the AXS Crystal. Guarantee you they have a radar running because they don't have lookouts. So, even without running a radar, the U.S. Navy guys on that ship knew that ship was there. Okay, then on top of that, the U.S. Navy has lookouts on their ships. The Merchant Marines? No, never. Their radar sets off an alarm and the captain or the officer of the deck that's driving the ship, there's one guy up there that's in charge, there's another guy steering the ship, or he punches in some buttons to change the course of the ship. And I do take note, BBC reported that the uh, crystal did a 180 degree and then another 180 degree which I think may have contributed to the U.S. Navy officer of the deck not figuring out what the hell was going on.
However, in my attack on the U.S. Navy, they've got lookouts. Take a take an average size house, put a guy on the second floor on both sides. They both have binoculars. And they're looking out and they're reporting this information to the to the bridge and the combat information center. So they had to have been the OOD had to be getting information that this ship was going on and failed to act. Now in what I call the law of gross tonnage, if the ship is bigger than you, then you make a decisive action to get away from that ship. Now, from what I can tell, they weren't exactly in open ocean, but you turn left, you turn to port, that was a bad decision. You turn to starboard, that was a good decision. Obviously, whoever was running the ship at the time did not make the right decision. Now, thank you, Tom, and uh, the link. This is about a five minute video he did for the TDD report, and a link to a longer video to where he gets into more of an explanation. I will put that down in the description below. So, Please, if you get a chance and you're more and you're interested in a little more in depth about the possibilities of what happened with the USS Fitzgerald and technology as it relates to uh, naval destroyers, naval ships, and collision avoidance, uh, please check out his longer video in the description below. That's it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.